If you've played more than one class in Mastery in Last Epoch in 1.0, you probably understand now that not all Masteries are created equally or that the game is even remotely close to perfectly balanced. Case in point, Falconer, Warlock, and well, I would say Paladin, but especially during the leveling process, if you don't have leveling gear, then you're kind of pigeonholed into playing a, a few certain builds while you're leveling. Otherwise, the leveling experience just really isn't that smooth or particularly fun if you don't know exactly what you're doing. So I thought I would give an example about if you wanted to play Shaman, if you wanted to play Primalist, there's actually a very good leveling build that I had in my mind for a while, but just got around to testing, and I call it the Eye of the Storm. And the basis of this build is to use Maelstrom and cast it on your Storm Totem with Blizzard. This node right here makes Maelstrom do three times as much damage, and then this node lets you only cast it one every four seconds and get four stacks of Maelstrom. And then if you turn Summon Storm Totem into a Blizzard Totem basically, and then give it spell damage and scale up the amount of spell damage it gets per shock chance and make that based uh, off of chill chance instead once you get the blizzard node right here and then in the passive tree you have this beautiful node which gives you both shock and chill chance and that 80 percent right there is equal to 16 base spell damage from this node yeah so it's pretty interesting how this works but basically you just cast your totem down and then cast maelstrom on it and it's gonna destroy everything the basis of the build is very very simple just once every four seconds you all you want to do is cast your storm totem and then a maelstrom with four stacks on it and it does great damage i i can't really find anything else to add to it because this like this core mechanic right here just does so much damage and storm totems actually last eight seconds so when you cast it and then cast three um and then cast four stacks of maelstrom on it and then wait for four more stacks of maelstrom to pop up right there you can actually get eight stacks of maelstrom on a single storm totem before it runs out and this is a very very good play style it's very safe all you really do is walk around and you let the storm totem and your maelstrom stacks do all the work for you and if you're ever in a spot of trouble i like to use warcry and warcry actually has a ton of cold synergy that you can do yeah you can see like I don't really have anything special going on here. My gear is not good. Nothing is good. And it's been this way the entire campaign. Yeah, I don't even know what else you really want on this build, but for now I'm I'm testing out several things. Warcry is really nice because it has a lot of cold damage synergies with frostbite stacks, increased cold damage and maelstrom stacking over there and invulnerability. But really, it's just Summon Storm Totem Maelstrom. And the way that you run through the game is just you set it down like pretty far in front of you, and then you kind of run through it, and then you set it down pretty far in front of you, and then you run through it, and then, you know, like a nice little, it, it's a nice little play style. It's a nice little play style. And it's very easy, it's very safe, because it's a totem build, of course. And there's nothing really complicated about it. There's no, there's no real flaws to it besides the tankiness of the storm totem. However, there are ways around that because you can make your war cry heal things. You can, you can make your minions and totems get a ton of defenses. And it all just really comes together really nicely, especially while you're leveling. What I would end up doing is, as soon as you pick the Shaman Mastery, spec out of something that you're not using and go storm totem. And likely you're going to have Maelstrom at this point as well. And so you want to have Maelstrom and Storm Totem as your first two. Now Maelstrom without these nodes is pretty unusable and very slow, while you're, especially while you're going through the campaign. What I find is most useful is getting two points in this and then going straight to this node and maxing that out. Coming back and getting one point in this makes it really usable later on as you want to scale up single target damage. And I'm just going to come over here and get mana efficiency because I am testing out a Maelstrom stacking over here. Summon Storm Totem, as soon as you spec it, you put one point here and you put one point here. And that's going to carry you throughout like the first 35 levels of the game because the base Blizzard damage is actually really, really high. And especially once you're specking uh, increased minion spell damage here, and as soon as you get 
attunement here and penetration because totem scale off of attunement and penetration. And we can read the tooltip on this node where you and your minions penetrate enemy physical cold and lightning resistances. The damage that we do is within those typings. And then once you put five points into this, max this out immediately. And what I usually do with this build is I get to avalanche as quickly as possible so I can spec that as well. Because if you look at avalanche, if you make it not follow you, it actually does a ton of single target damage if you leave it, if you make it a casted skill. Here we can just take a peek at that. It's, it, it does a lot, it does a lot, it does a lot. So you do that on top of the storm totem and everything like this, and the amount of damage that this actually deals this little combo is ridiculous. And what you wanna do here is convert it into cold damage, make it last a long time, not cost as much, and you're sitting pretty. But again, after we max out this node and get to avalanche as soon as possible, so you want 25 points in these shaman master as quickly as possible, I like to grab five points here, five points there, both for tankiness reasons, and then I'm maxing this out because tankiness reasons because you really need a lot of tank. What's great about Shaman is that you get 10 attunement and 50% elemental resistance while you control a totem. And so we're always controlling a totem and we can check our resistances. If we don't have a totem up, we're getting absolutely slapped by elemental damage. And so you can just focus on the other resistances uh, throughout the entirety of the game. Anyways, hope this helped any uh, primalist Andes out there that really wanted to try out the class, but didn't quite know like how to approach it to level it up in a safe and fun type of way. So I'll see you in the next one.